Hey guys, so today I have an exciting news. I have partnered with Beam Jobs, who is into creating professional resumes with assistance from AI. So you can use the tool to build a resume as well as cover letter. I have used it and it works flawlessly. So let me show you what Beam Jobs is and how you can create an impressive professional resume in minutes so let's get started when you go to beamjobs.com you would be prompted with the login screen if you don't have an account you can quickly sign up with your email and password in my case i already have an account so i will just log on to my account and click sign in and on the home page you can see i have few that i created i was tinkering with it to see how the resume looks like you have plenty of options to choose from so if you click on resume templates then you would be presented with different templates that's available i would say give it a try for a month at least to build some sample resumes and you can always tweak it okay since i'm into it project management i will put the link of this page in the video description below but you can check this out because this is quite useful this has a template for all levels of experience so it starts with assistant project manager resume so if you're new to project management and getting started, you can download this as a PDF for reference and create your own. Or you can use this template and it start editing to insert your education and experience. The good thing is it also tells you why this resume works. So if I scroll down, there is again entry level project manager resume. You can use this template. You will see that there are 23 different templates available so for you to either refer download or edit to make it yours so let's go back to what i would use because i have some experience in this space so i would go with uh, probably this template here which says senior project manager resume so i'm going to show you how you can take a template and make it yours so i like the one pager look here it has the name on top contact details on the side work experience in the middle highlighting all the different experiences and education on the side within that template do i want elegant standout professional i prefer to have just one so that it's easy to edit and maintain so i'm gonna go with this one also, when you upload to some job sites, you know, if you have columns, the internal system, what they have, it may not translate and convert into proper text. So safer option. So now once you click the template, I would say continue with that example. Now it allows me to change the different sections of the resume. So I'm going to update my name here. My email, senior project manager is fine. But if I was applying for a project manager role, I think I would say senior IT project manager so that it's specific to IT. I would put a phone number here. By the way, that's my actual number. I use it for my business of coaching project management to fellow students. So if you are interested in learning project management for, from me, text me and I'd be happy to help. Location, I'm in uh, town, let's say Morris Town NJ. Let's say continue. Education, let's say what we have education. So Howard was, I can continue. I can add additional degrees such as master's Thing, then continue so it added those two so if I want to add my bachelor's I can do that and I would say continue so it added all the education I have now I can add different work experience so I have current role that is carpenter technology job title is IT business partner location is so these are different work responsibilities that that's in the template you can always have additional work responsibility by your own or if you don't want it you can delete it there are different work responsibilities example here you can go through and see if anything relates to what uh, you have done in the past and then you can say continue got added next one i would say i was honeywell three continue the same information work responsibility so that's what we did and then other responsibilities i'm gonna keep it same 
for time being so that I can show you the next section where we can add the skills. So now skills here, these are certificates. So I think I would go ahead and add a section for certifications. So you can add that here. If you have other sections such as activities or if you want to create your own section for any other extracurricular items, you can add that. I'm just going to add the certifications and then click out of it. Certification skills, I would remove the certifications from here. Confluence, MS Project, Trello, ITPPM, CA Clarity. Those are some of the project management frequently used tools. Compass or say change management, SOW, procurement. Those are some things that I would add. Career objective, PMP certified project manager with uh, 19 plus years of experience. Let's say Sanofi, where my experience will drive client facing projects. Uh, certification, I'm going to say PMP certification. PMP certification, I would say CSM certification. Continue. So the resume score is already at uh, 95. At this stage, you can always rearrange the sections. You want to move the skills above education, you can do that. And that way, your education and certifications comes down. You have the skills and you have the most relevant experience. Here, when you click on LinkedIn, it takes you to different LinkedIn. So you may want to edit that link so let's do that social links if you click on social links here there is a linkedin and put it here continue if you click on expand you can see what it did i did not like the full link here so you can go back to the contact information click on social links and say linkedin all right so it has that so if you want you can always click on the resume in this area and then for each of the sections you can always right click and adjust anything if required here it says pmp dash certified which is good this looks good to me let's look at if there are any improvements that the tool is suggesting so if we click on improvements it says quantify your impact wherever we have those keywords try to put some numbers i think the first one because there is a two million deal is good sap implementation for production floor all right collaborated with two project managers to work cross functionally with software and data team to align to work okay so now that we have done it let's see how much it recalculates wow 20 down to 44 percent so here they give some examples of how to add like here saving engineers 15 hours each week i'm gonna add that let's recalculate so from 44 by adding those metrics it improved to 55 so now let's see what else resulting in additional 15 percent productivity so just adding that 15 percent let's see how much came back to 66 where we started that's exactly what this tools let you to help make your resume more quantifiable it has key metrics where you can measure the performance of what you delivered how it helped improve the business that is something that would be missing in most of the other candidates resume so that will make your resume stand out those are the things that i like about this tool and i highly encourage that you spend some time to fine tune it to bring it at least a work experience and career section to close to 90 percent overall i think uh, we are at 88 percent and it tells you that you know avoid any filler words so you can always do the formatting options, adjust the margins or the vertical spacing. You can change the font if you want to. I think this looks good. And I always found it difficult to keep my resume within one page. I think when I add additional experiences here to go back all the way to 2005 it will add maybe one additional page which is okay but for time being i'm gonna keep it like this i can download this as a pdf that way if i want to share or upload to anywhere it's easier can close this out so now it is downloaded let's see okay yeah 
I think I just realized that I have more page here at the bottom. So I, I think I should be able to add one more section of experience. Let me do that. Add a new role. Scrum and Foster. Job title was Scrum Master. Continue. I will edit the details later. I would like to print it and see how this looks like. Print it. It's a two-page resume, so I'm happy with it. So you always have an option to go back and edit any of the resumes that you have created in the past. Continue to tweak to get a better results. So let me go back and get the printed resume and show you how that looked like. All right. So here is the resume. So we have the contact information on top with the resume headline. We have the work experience that we listed. That's all coming up nicely on page one. And then on page two, we have the skills, education, and certifications. So we have plenty of space here to add either work experience or more skills. If you go to the My Account profile, there is an option to generate the perfect cover letter with one click. So let's try that. I have a resume here, so I'm going to click that. So you have to create the resume first for the tool to generate the cover letter. So I'm going to click this resume that I have created. And let's say it needs a job description. So let me go to LinkedIn. So here there is a job description for a project manager scrum master for a data project. Maybe I'll copy all of them and see what happens let it do the job generate the cover letter now looking at all the things that I copied over in the text field here straight copy from the job description and let's see what cover letter it comes up with it would be interesting because then you don't have to think about customizing the cover letter just copy paste the key items of the job description and then you can always edit it so it came up with the cover letter so it says i'm writing to express my interest in project management at your esteemed organization looking at your job requirements i see multiple areas where my skill and experiences align i have over 19 years of project management experience, blah, blah, blah. So it touches on the STLC methodologies, delivering solutions, aligning with the requirements, uh, integrating company-wide acquisitions. Okay, this is specific to that job description. So even though I did not have a significant CRM overhaul, it just created it. And then I fostered teamwork and these are all coming from the job description, I believe. So if you look at here, establishing governance leading. So I saw that. Foster teamwork, build mutual trust and respect. It generated and inserted all those things that the job description had. And then I think it's a good cover letter. I would say, in my opinion, it's a little longer. So probably I would, instead of adding more about me, I would focus on keeping the keywords from the job description. So I would cut down this into show that I have 19 years of experience. I have a knowledge in project life cycles and integrating cross-functional teams. So that should do it instead of keeping everything along with the complex project governance budget. I would add this change management into here. So that would take care of that keyword. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive. If you're looking to generate a specific customized cover letter for each job, the AI or the tool on this website is actually pretty useful to copy the job description and it comes up with the cover letter so you don't have to spend time writing and customizing a cover letter for the jobs that you apply. So that's definitely time saver. All right, so I'm super happy with how this tool turned out and this has plenty of options, thousands of templates to choose from. So I'm happy to recommend this tool to anyone who is looking to create professional resumes using a online tool that helps you to create it in a decent way. And you have all these additional tools available to look at the score, to make sure that you are using the right keywords, you are putting metrics such as man hours or productivity savings or the savings from in dollar amount, those things adds up and make your resume stand out compared to other candidates that might have applied for the same job. So having a strong resume will 
definitely increase your chances. The tool helps you to manage the resume section by section. It organizes everything in a neat way. It also gives us examples where you can go through it and select the one that is relevant to you and also make some tweaks and adjustments as you go. Really like that improvement score, which tells you if you have any verbs or things that are repetitive. So you can remove that and if you're missing any key matrices in the resume that you may want to add. So I'm super happy with it. So check it out. I'll put the link in the description and also a referral link that will give you some discount on the product pricing. Let me know how you find this tool, whether it was useful for you or not. And uh, in the comment section, I'll be happy to respond back with any questions that you may have. Uh, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, give it a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more project management videos. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.